Hi loves, back with me again Olivia and it's been long time since I did a Q&A video so here I am today answering your questions from Instagram and also YouTube comments. So let's get started! The first question is from Tasha Elizabeth. Where did you go for uni? So I studied in Venus International University in Senayan. The second question is from Kathleen Renata. How to survive Venus International Uni? <laughs> this is actually a good question. I took my thesis twice because I failed on the first one. And yeah, it was such a hard journey, but I made it. Just keep studying and be persistent, I guess. <laughs> it's not easy. So the next question is also about uni. This one is from Adrian Wei. What major did you take in uni? So I took graphic design major and now I'm working in fashion. I know it's quite different but a bit similar, I guess. <laughs> the next question is from Eran Bri. How tall are you? I know this is a bit personal but I'm too curious. This is actually a good question because I never reveal my height in any of my social media. I am 163 cm, so I'm not super tall as you see in the picture but yeah I'm quite okay I guess this one is from Kyla kapan dan dimana pertama ketemu kak Calvin so I met Calvin at Pic in a Japanese restaurant it is actually our favorite restaurant until now and we met through a friend so a mutual friend cliche love story <laughs> next question is from Karen Cherry jadi kerjanya apa setiap hari? Actually, I got a lot of questions about this from my YouTube channel and also my Instagram comment. So, if you guys new to my channel, I'm a full-time fashion blogger. My blog is under my name. It's olivialazori.com. It's about my personal style and also about my life. Sometimes I give tips about fashion and also a bit of travel. This one is from Jay Fina. Hello, Olivia. How did you start your career? Thanks. So I started my career four years ago. I started my blog through Blogspot because it was free and yeah, I just knew that I love fashion since I was a teenager. So I chased my dreams and become a fashion blogger until now. This one is from Dimas Aldi. What's your favorite filter on Visco? My favorite filter, that's so hard. I have a lot of favorites. I love S3, I love HB2, I also love S2. So it really depends on the original photos because every lighting is different, every place has different lighting. So it really depends, but yeah, those three are my favorites. Okay, so I got these questions a lot from all of you guys. It's about my camera. So the camera that I'm using is Sony A7 II Mark II. I use it for my blog, for my pictures, and for my YouTube video as well. But for vlog, I'm using Sony RX100 Mark V. So I lost my Mark IV in Bali, if you guys followed my Insta stories. But yeah, I just got the Mark V. It's for vlogging. And Sony A7 Mark II for pictures and videos. From Finn Siska. Di mata orang-orang, jadi fashion blogger itu susah. Menurut Cici, apa nggak enaknya jadi fashion blogger? Dijawab ya. Well, I, I'm enjoying every moment of my career. But I think it's not what I don't like, but maybe it's more towards the hardships. There's a lot of hardships like I have to think about new content every day. I have to edit photos every day, upload photos every day on my social media. And yeah, I think sometimes it it's a bit tiring for me and there are some days where I just want to relax and chill and not um, thinking about my social media but that's my full-time job so that's what I have to deal with okay next question is from Merna Jaislin how do you stay skinny even though you eat a lot so actually I'm originally skinny and thin it's hard for me to gain weight so I think that's a plus point because I eat a lot Calvin was really shocked when he 
dated me for the first time and yeah I just eat a lot and cannot gain weight I don't have any reason behind that <laughs> next one is from Angelina Tasha what and who are your fashion inspirations I got a lot of inspirations from a lot of different things and person so I love fashion influencers I follow a lot of fashion influencers on my Instagram I love Gary Pepper girl I love Crystal Lim I love song of style I love Kiara I love all of them and I think they inspire me in different ways and I love to watch runways and latest trends and I think that's what inspires me as well from Aiko Chan what is your favorite sunglasses? Definitely Gentle Monster. <laughs> Such an easy question. I love Gentle Monster so much. I think I have about four to five of their sunglasses. So yeah, I'm looking forward to another collection. Next up is from Ferry Name. How do you manage your time between your work, family, and friends? So the first question is, how do I manage my time between work, family, and friends? So I work every day from Monday to Friday. I have an office hour from 9 to 6. And I always try to go home for dinner and meet Calvin because that's really important. We work at a different place and office so we have to set a time to have dinner together and just have quality, quality time and also during weekends I don't usually accept any works or events I try to minimize it and yeah weekends is usually for my family for Calvin and to catch up with friends and Sunday is my church days so yeah Next one is from Reflin Stefani. Hal apa yang paling kakak suka dan gak suka dari Calvin? <laughs> okay, so good question. What I like and I don't like from Calvin. What I like is he is very smart. What I don't like is he always act that he's the smartest person in this entire world. <laughs> so yeah, he's actually really smart and I love that. But sometimes he's a bit annoying. He feels like his opinion is the smartest opinion in the world. So yeah. Next one is from Fallen TRS. Hi Olivia, you're such a great inspiration. Your passion for your work and your dedication to follow what God say. I would like to ask, I saw on your YouTube channel you used to work as a designer. So when and how did you make a step to achieve your dream as fashion blogger? and have Kala Atelier. Thank you! So I quit my graphic designer career around five years ago and I started working with my parents for about six months but I didn't really like it. It was in the garment industry. They were really disappointed because I don't want to um, continue the family business but I always love fashion so I decided to quit all of my jobs and start my own fashion blog. And after one year of creating my fashion blog, it becomes a full-time job until now. So that's how I start my fashion blog. Okay, next question is from Stephanie Wong. You're a super busy woman. How I manage my schedule to stay motivated? That's a good question. So as I said before, there, there are some days where I feel tired and just overwhelmed with my work. So what I did is usually I think back and realize on how much effort I have put on building this career. Um, I've worked hard for the past four years to be where I'm at today. And I think to be disciplined is such an important thing because that's what drives me to always work and create new content and to work hard every day. And I guess discipline doesn't come in a blink of an eye. 
you have to practice and really put that in your priority. Okay, next question is from Teresa Churchill. I wanted to be an influencer like you. How can I start and does it have to be with OOTD? Well, influencer is a very broad word. It doesn't have to be fashion. It could be about lifestyle, travel, or food, and everything else. So it really depends on what you are passionate about. I think start with something that you like first and focus on one thing. Okay, moving on to the next question. It's from Nini Foni. Pengen nanya nih, Ci, gimana ya cara dan tips bagi waktu supaya bisa konsisten read the Bible walaupun kita ini orang sibuk? That is actually a good question. I challenge myself every day to read the Bible even though it's very very hard. I woke up every morning. Sometimes I'm so lazy to get up from the bed, but I have to do it because if I skip reading the Bible in the morning, I will skip it for the rest of the days and I will just become lazy. So, yeah, just I'm just fighting with my laziness every morning and I think to think that reading the Bible is very important to charge me and to prepare me for the day um, is the best way to keep me motivated because I feel like if I skip my quiet time in the morning, I can feel a bit empty and sometimes I can get easily annoyed by other people as well. So I have to fill in my uh, love tank with God and start the day with a full tank battery spiritually. <laughs> this one is from Blue Sky. Olive, can you do the question and answer video so we get to know you better? P.S. How old are you? Well, interesting questions. I never reveal my age anywhere. So only my friends know my age. But I think for this video, I will reveal my age to you guys. I am actually 23 years old. I'm turning 24 this year. So I was born in 1993. <laughs> Interesting questions from Andrew. What happened to Irene? Are you guys still friends? Of course, we are still friends. We are best friends. So Irene and I worked together as a partner last year for my blog. So she handled more towards the back end side and I am more towards the front end side. But she decided to work for herself. She started her own clothing line and also she's getting married so she is super busy. So she stepped out from Olivia Lazuardi team and yeah, we go separate ways in terms of work but we are still best friends obviously. <laughs> Petite Angels Hi Olivia, really love your morning routine and starting with the Bible first. Sorry Olivia, may I know where do you get your holy Bible? I would like to purchase the same Bible like yours and it's hard to find anywhere in here. So actually my Bible is very very standard. I got it in Toko Gunung Agung if I'm not mistaken. I bought it in Senayan City and it is actually a very standard Bible. It has two languages so the left one is the English version and the right one is the Indonesian version. Another question from Kill Me. What do you and your husband do for a living? I'm a full-time fashion blogger, full-time influencer, and Kelvin works in the garment industry. From Miracle 1988. Hey, I know this is a personal question, but I was wondering if you got a nose job. <laughs> This is the first video I've seen from you because your nose bridge looks pretty high and overall your nose is something people aim for when getting plastic surgery in Asia. Wow, are you serious? <laughs> okay, so my nose is real. I never done any plastic surgery before, not even my eyelid, not my nose, not everything. So all natural and yeah, my natural nose. Thanks for the compliment, by the way. Joanna Christianti, what kind of dog is that? You mean this? <laughs> so, Chanel is a Maltese. She is my one and only pet. 
and she's very cute. If you want to have a dog, I really recommend you to buy a Maltese, just like Chanel. She's very calm, very smart, very quiet, and very easy to maintain. Not maintain, very easy to take care of because Maltese hair doesn't shed, so it's very safe for people who is very allergic to like fur. So yeah, smartest dog ever, the cutest dog ever. She's not smart. She's a bit dumb, but she's cute. <laughs> Donna Wismaya, hi Chia Olivia, this is so cute how we know you edit your Instagram pic with passion. By the way, is that original picture taken with smartphone or camera? So actually, I use both camera and smartphone. It really depends if it's more like a nature or landscape kind of photo. I usually use my smartphone because I love the result. And for OTDs, mostly I use my Sony camera. 21 friends, how do you keep everything so clean? My room looks so awful. So I love to start with organizing things based on their category. So I have one space just for my bags, I have one space just for my makeup, I have one space just to store my cables. So I think that really helps a lot on keeping the room clean because if you have a space for everything you know where to put them in orders and it's easier for you to organize your things that's all for today loves thanks for sending me questions i hope you really enjoyed this video and get to know me better if you have any other questions feel free to drop them down on the comment box below i would love to answer them on my next video maybe so yeah i hope to see you on the next video bye